Welcome to the Unification Series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're picking up on the 18th of November 1975. In the last part, the focus was very much on getting my vehicle scrapping facility up and running, simply because it's time now to start seriously thinking about replacing some of our older and slower vehicles like these dumpers. Also, it does provide a bit of a source of steel and other components just to show you here so we can get a few mech components a few electronic components some metal scrap and some steel and what i've gone what what and what i've actually done in this area now is i've split up this open store so that it will allow me to store bricks and prefabs and alongside the steel later on once we uh, start to produce our own resources i've also done the same with this warehouse but uh, I think what we'll probably do is stick at the moment with just electro components and mechanical components that come out of the scrappage system here. Now, the other thing we are we're working on is up here. And this is where the focus needs to kind of shift for this part. And what we were doing here is we got our coal production up and running. And we are currently working on our uh, power station here. Now I did make one mistake over here. I made a lot. I forgot a very basic. Uh, la, I forgot a very basic rule with relating to connecting up storage. Storage is passive, and what I did is a direct link between these two stores, and that that doesn't work. So I had to scrap the conveyor and then put in a second one with a tower in there, which then assures that this is now full up with coal. So we got a lot of coal production. We just need now to find ways to um, use it. And as I say, what the focus does need to be, in fact, we'll just let the game run faster now. The, we, the focus does need to be on this power station because if we can get the power station up and running, what that will do is kind of start to reduce our costs with respect to power. And then what we will need to do then is expand out to get these other industries up and running. Uh, kind of thinking... We we'll prob uh, probably don't want the panel factory. What we'll probably do is work on the cement factory next. We've got this footpath here that probably needs to be built. So let me just, uh, how we got here? Yeah, we've got an unfinished road, so we can slip that in. Yeah, so I think the next target will be the cement factory because once we make the cement factory, it means we won't have to import cement. And that will mean, and then what that will do is then feed our panel factory here, which will then give us virtual autonomy from uh, the construction requirements the only other thing we will need to work on is our small brick factory up here which will allow us to um, manufacture our own bricks and now one thing i've got now and this is going to be uh, you might find this a little bit amusing if you've been following the series is that my crop situation now has flipped the opposite way you can see we're still harvesting in some fields this uh, grain store is virtually completely full. So is this one, although we are still kind of bringing in crops from here. In fact, what I'm doing at the moment is just letting things run a little bit. In fact, what I probably could do is say, right, start picking up from here now. And the other thing over here with this crop area here, let me just get back here. I should have tap this on you see i've got small amounts of crops still left in all these fields being picked up but this store is now almost completely full as well and what i've resorted to is actually expanding the crop capacity in here to try and store some more crops into here and what i might do now is start seriously thinking about bringing this silo online here but we'd have to build that but I don't feel there's any rush, but we've now got a lot more crops uh, kind of flowing into this area. So that is the situation there. Now, the other area where we were kind of starting to develop things is out here. Because we, we this is going to be the core of our tourist town. You just come in here. I think we'll start trying to build these crossroads first and get this out here. This very long stretch of road here is now finished, although we do need to get out here and make a proper connection to the border. 
but the set but that is something for a long time in the future now the i think this area here is a medium distribution office i can't i've, I've built it oh this is being built because i've got a problem with food and just make sure we've got that going yeah i've got a problem with my food distribution because not so much that there is actually food shortages or there shouldn't be let's have a quick look it's down more to the fact that my trucks are now working way too hard and what i want to do is get more trucks into here so that we can separate food and clothes dis distribution let's just check over here yeah we um, we don't have a lot of food in here which could be a potential problem um we we've, we've got 6.5 tons of food in there so we, we are getting a steady supply but the problem is that, that we don't have enough trucks working on the problem so we so i suppose in some ways this needs you know, is already on a flag as a high priority so we do so our high priority jobs is the that this distribution office here and our power station up here now we are working on this corner here where with respect to a construction office and another vehicle repair station and of course we we are i think i've also made us considering making a start on a hospital because we do have a look you say it's this garbage overflowed okay so we've got no garbage pickup here that is not good um we're gonna need to get a garbage pickup here go for a large one yeah i think if we can drop this in here actually can we get that just tucked in there yeah i think if we slip that in there yeah, just press control and then we can get that there in fact we probably need this to be fairly high priority um, as well yeah i think what's happening with these is that they're kind of filling up but because there's this is one of the problems you can have that when you've got big buildings like this with lots of population they do really need to be connected to a waste pickup because there's the small storage down the bottom which is if we see, see here it's not point two. obviously this is full up almost again immediately so we do need that working and of course this this uh garbage system is kind of working max max out all the time now so that's something that we do need to kind of put together um we are getting quite a big workforce there okay so let me just see how things are going um another area where i am kind of thinking what i might need is a uh, what they call it a not general separation a gravel recycling plant from construction waste the reason for that is that we are getting a lot of construction waste coming in now because we got our this mine operating we also get quite a lot of construction waste from here i think we actually look in here we're from the uh from the uh, uh coal, coal ore processing and i think we are getting a fair amount of construction waste from here as well and i think what i need to do now is start to separate this out as well now and then I'm not sure what we're getting here. I don't think we get much construction waste from here. No, we just get um, for biological waste. Of course, as, as these buildings come on, we're going to have to bring in some more um, waste processing. This is where waste processing can get away from you. See, this one's got construction waste in it as well. So we, I'd like to start... Oh, I built the wrong one here. Okay. What I've built here is doesn't have... If you build a small garbage container, what that means is that you can't actually um, get construction waste. 
yeah, that's a limitation on this here. But that's not a problem. The, the amount of waste that we will get out of here can be separated out uh, at the uh, building down here. Now, another project I do want to get online now is here because we are getting quite a lot of scrap metal, which we really do need to start thinking about turning into something else. I think we've got this here, but I don't really want to start working on this until I've got that power plant up and running. Now, we've now got the last of our crops in. But if you look round, you'll see that there's no black fields. Now, black fields are an indication that something has gone quite badly wrong. Now, hopefully, let me just check the road crew. Yeah, the road crew's got a few jobs in here. What I want to do is start um, putting, working on these roads as well. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put the ground crew on this as well. Because what I need to do is start filling in these mud roads to improve the performance of a pickup. And you can see that we've got 7,827 tons of uh, crops in there. So that's looking good. Um, now, another thing I've also done here is, if I show you here, I've actually got a dedicated truck now taking bitumen up to our uh, asphalt plant drop-off up here. The reason for that is that we we're now using more and more asphalt, and what I've found is that the, this little plant up here couldn't keep up, so I'm not going to... I'm going to keep it going, but at the same time, I'm not too worried, but I'm going to supplement the bitumen in this area. How are we doing here? Okay. Um, now, I've built the uh, waste pickup here for the power station, but if, if, if I remember correctly, the um i'm not too sure how much what type of waste i think most of it is burnable and and maybe a little bit of i don't think there's any biological because we're burning coal so i think it's all burnable but we just need to make sure that we can uh, the waste that's actually produced can be picked up so we'll we'll set that up later on anyway let's just get back down to here See how this is going. Yeah, I think this is coming along fairly nicely. Have a look at our economy. We are making a small but steady profit here. Looks like our prison it needs to be repaired. Now again, this is another problem. The, the prison is now starting to fill up. Now there's two ways we can deal with this. If we look at our our prisoners and see if how whether any of them are all at zero. There's somebody here with 79% crime rating. Wow, got 1%, 86%. So what we're most likely going to need to do is start thinking about another prison as well, um, which is going to be fun because of course, if we don't have a prison, right, we need to get that built now with these guys. We can get this done. Ooh. As you might have guessed is that through the winter, what I tend to do is just monitor things. I don't plan things. I just try and get most things kind of working together so that we can get things operating. Um, this harvest is coming down quite nicely. Um, all right. We're still kind of scrapping this vehicle slowly but surely as i said what i'm doing is slowly over time replace replacing vehicles that are kind of starting to show their age let me just check here yeah we got another kind of pretty old dumper here which and you can see these are only really 70 kilometers an hour so they're they are a little bit slow and of course, there's, so there's no point building up very high uh, integrated network if you've got very slow trucks operating 
in the area. So we're going to need to replace some of these. We got here, you're 62, you're a cupboard hole. Um, kind of thinking what we got in the way of cupboard holes. We only got the one cupboard hole. And you're, well, and you're actually um, thingy. Let me just see what we've got in the way of cupboard holes. See if we've got a good quality cupboard hole now. Speed. Right, we've got this one at 92. And the LZ100. Now. I think we can. I think it's time for this guy to be pensioned off as well. And then what we'll do is replace him with a, a LZ100 we got here this is 80 kilometers now we don't need this with these ones we don't really need massive amounts of coverage uh, uh, I think we're just buying that one drop him in now there is a what's called an automatic replacement now to be honest I don't like using this until the economy is very strong because what happens is that it, what what happens is the vehicles start to get replaced when the criteria here with wear and tear and the number of years but what can happen is I, I think I did a test way back when vehicle maintenance was first introduced and what happened was is I ended up with a massive queue because the game went swept across and picked up all the old vehicles and just to show you if we enable wear and tear we show vehicle age we've, we've got vehicles coming up to 15% wear and tear we've got a couple of vehicles at 50 percent now these might be potential but they're 12 years old um we'll just take a look at this um whole map yeah i mean our our building repair regime is good uh just see yeah we've got a system vehicle here this is 62 um kilometers an hour um he's probably due for replacement as well so um where are you what are you it's this this vehicle here not exactly sure well what are you doing you're you're just exporting the fuel okay so where are you um this guy isn't it now it's a cement truck okay it's this one here what are you uh, where are you now at the moment okay he's just come out so this is oops yeah he was hiding from me in the custom shed so what we're going to do is send you over there as well I mean, where are you? What are you guys doing then? Okay, yeah. So we're, we've got two two trucks here exporting fuel, and what we can do is just bring in another one. These guys will pay for themselves. Capacity. Uh, drop another one of those in to replace that. Um, got to keep an eye on our cash, and because of course replacing vehicles is expensive. Okay, uh, right, let's get up to here. Um, we got our road crew here. We're doing absolutely zip. You need to work on that. Anything else that we need to be doing? Um, the other thing I want to do is just keep pushing out this road. Because we are going to need it. Um, we also got this road to build out. Big one is steel, but there's not much we can do about it. Right, we've now built this. Let's see what waste. I mean, most of this will be biological. We got a little bit of metal scrap, and but truthfully, 
it's not really worth separating it out so we we get a little bit of biological and then the metal scrap and that can be sorted out by the um by the separation plant right well working here we just need a little bit more kind of looking at this area actually and considering we've got a road connection coming out here i'm starting to think that maybe we will need a uh a, what we call it here a technical office to do some snow clearing i think i will put a technical office in we'll probably put it um in over here uh technical services would like it if possible to be connected to the power grid but can't have everything so what we'll do is we'll just put uh, technical office there because you can see that the snow is not being cleared that successfully from here plus you can see there's a snow plow going down here but what we're going to need to do is try and open up this a little bit more um, just get back over to here how's this road going we're on the 7th of January and this road is not being built that well so let's get the um, try to put the main construction on as well just to give a bit of support certainly moving a lot of crops <laughs> and just and seeing it's dark just to show you the uh, fertilizer situation we've now got our field, some of our fields down here are still quite low 56% but none of them are actually below 50% at the moment there's 67% there 102 there 100, 150 there and then if we come back down to here see most of these are all on 150 which is one of the reasons why this farm actually built this is one of the reasons why this farm seems to be more effective but the problem is that we got to use these crops up and what i could do is i'm not sure what the workforce situation is we got 179 people unemployed We've got quite a lot of people here. I'm kind of, I've kind of been toying with the idea of possibly using a cable way, but I'm not sure if I could get that actually in here. Um, Cause it's a little bit tight if we could get a cable way over here we what we would do then is be able to send workers to here without um and then those workers will be constantly traveling in and out all the time so cable ways can be quite efficient the problem is i i never origi originally planned for one so getting one in here will be a bit tricky uh, I'm not 100% I mean I could put it that way um, I think I'm going to need to think about that guys because I think if we could get a cable way into here that would be quite useful I mean another advantage would be if we sent the cable way that way okay it looks like we've uh, we still got 52 tons of steel to go for this um, it would be quite a major relief to get that actually finished uh, let me just see right we've now got this finished and um, what I'm going to do is copy tasks to there and then we're going to remove that 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 that's going to buy a what's the best our oh, best now we don't this is where choosing the right covered hole could be quite useful we don't really need something that's massive what we want is something that can deliver regular amounts at let's have a look at capacity over speed um, what i'm looking for is 
something that's going to be relatively fast like these that can deliver a kind of more regular supply of crops i think maybe if we get a couple of those we we'll just get them in here and then what this will do is be able to get this will can then first supplement the food in here or oh, no the food will be in there because you can see the food is getting to it but you can see it does get a bit low which can cause a problem but we'll probably come here and it's this lack of meat uh, electronics unable to get electronics unable to enjoy culture prison yeah we are definitely going to need to do something about the prison um maybe we could put a i mean my instinct is okay haha <laughs> a new vehicle type arrived just arrived since i started buying some covered holes um i'm just wondering let me just have a look at crime trouble is i'm not sure about the workforce here my instinct is to put a prison about there right on the edge of our town and then what that will do is suck up any excess workforce i think we will put the prison there and we're yeah road crew on that and then what we'll do is we'll open up this prison which has got a capacity of 210 compared to the 45 and then what we'll do is get rid of this one and we'll move all our prisoners over to there um how's our whoops going the wrong place these guys are still working on these two roads here which is good um we can get there Come to here. So we are getting a little bit of steel in here, some mechanical components. Nothing really special at the moment. We will get round to building railway eventually. Over here. Yeah, we are doing quite well with our um, chemical fertilizer. Right, this road's been built. The trouble is we're on the 10th of January and I'm not 100% sure we'll be able to get... Uh, we could probably put that little section in there. And um, we'll make that high priority. And we'll just bridge in that little gap there. Right, our main construction... It seems to kind of run out of things to do. So what we'll do is we're now going to start bringing this online. And we need to, we'll need to build this through here. Gee, how many workers we got here? Um, how many over 21s have we got? 122 at the moment I do wonder whether we can put in another oops I'll put my favorites back on I'm just wondering if we could get uh, I mean we got the waste collection there I put uh, another block just there and uh, let's get that there get the ground crew rating on that as well um, the question is what we're we going to build next here it was the 
cement works, wasn't it? But I, I feel that what we probably need to build next is here. Um, so that we can then, we're going to need a uh, kit for a road crew on that. Make that battery connection. Um, and then what we can do is build this silo first so that when we get the cement battery online it will be able to make a connection because because to bring on the prefab factory we're going to need to build this <clears throat> tunnel underneath here nearly there so we just got um, one more tiny little delivery of steel now we are going to need to try and boost our, boost our workforce over here um, try and get this built um, happiness is on the increase again so that's good how are we doing right out here we can't afford to forget our tourist town I'll just see what our what this vehicle is actually doing. Uh, I think what we'll do is we have got a little bit of money. Let's have a look at the covered holes. We've now got these. These are ninety-five kilometers an hour. And what I would like to do is if we're going to use those. I want to use those to move our crops. So. Um, what we got out here. Is this actually poor? We got a traffic jam. Um, where was that traffic jam? It's a snow plow. <laughs> which is now cured, cured itself. Um. I think what I am going to do is just buy another one of these out here. The LZ. Where are you? Buy two more of those. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to scale back the hunting huts from here. That's a relatively low risk. Uh, thing we'll move the, the kiosks as well um, and the hunting huts so what we'll do is we'll split the load first and then over time we will uh, move over and what will happen is that this uh, office here will kind of pick up more and more of the slack see whether you guys kind of yep let's go and see how much food we've got in store yeah we've got plenty of food that's good the clothes clothes yep got fabric so that's looking strong um i think we can now bring on our maintenance guys there Uh, what I do need to do is find and we're going to put you onto there um, bus stop then we're going to remove the heating plant and we've only got the one truck bus here so right um we're probably going to need to do a little bit more now with respect to the the bus here. Actually, how old? At what is this type of bus have we got here? Eighty-five kilometers an hour, work capacity twenty-eight. Okay, we're going to keep them there, and we're going to need a a bus 
if I've got any buses in here. Um, come into here. What was that bus again? This is the SKD 706. Um, buses. I mean, this may no longer actually be available. We could replace both with this one, this one with two of these. Uh, yeah, I think we're find two of those. Got here. Oh, that should be finished. Um, that needs to be built. Bit of a mistake there. Um, I'm going sh to shut that down for the moment because we don't have anything. We've got to build these now across through here. And we will need to build in these here. Now this is a, a little bit of a dog's dinner because of course I couldn't make a single clink through here. So we're uh, going to get this here. Now there is, I'm um, using a truck to pick up steel here. So if you find the distribution office, it's not that one. I think it's the other one. Where are you? Yeah, this is the one that's picking up from the scrapping facility. So if we put that there and we'll tell you just to pick up the steel. What this one is doing is picking up the steel and taking it to the small storage here. Now, the reason I've got this one picking up from here and dropping to here is that what happens is, because we're not producing very much at the moment, what is happening is that this is, uh, um, the steel is building up in here and you can't assign a distribution office to pick up from here. And so what I'm doing is, is forcing the issue a little bit here. Now, right, we should now have the, what we'll do is we'll now come here, find this bus. Oops. How old is this? This is 13 years old. It's kind of feeling its age a little bit at the moment. So uh, get rid of the bus stop. Just gonna. So we've got a bit of a queue here, which is not helping matters very much. Um, we'll let him go and drop off his workforce and then we'll send him to be scrapped. I mean, I, I mean, he's a good bus, but he's 13 years old already. And the way you want to think about it is the average lifespan of a, a vehicle is about 20 years. You can push it further, but it's probably not really worth it. So we'll let him just drop off there. And then, sorry, you are now no longer required. Right, let's get back up to here. Oh, actually on the way through. Yeah, we, I mean, we're on the 21st of February and we still got 2000. Is this, did I set this to high priority? Yep. And get that built. Right, the snow is just melting away now. Um, we'll put that on there. We got any spare workforce in here? We've got no jobs. They should now get attract be attracted to this. 
and they should then start to participate in the process what we will do is put these on here as well because these sections are very short so Yeah, we do really need to get this done. This built ASAP, actually, to be honest. Yeah, you're telling me about the fact that... Wow. Starting to feel that I might need some extra other trucks. Um... I think part of the problem is the congestion up through here. Right, we've got this bit of road here. We're on the 27th of February now. We're very close to the point where we are going to... Actually, we've already started. Oh, no, this guy is putting out compost. Uh, it's interesting, he's actually spreading nutrient. Um, I think what I will do is planning that. Oh, we got fire. Okay, this is gonna could be a little bit crucial. No, nope. of course, because we got a fire station just over here. And they should be able to deal with this. Yep. They're on the case. <laughs> um, I think what I will do is we'll just temporarily get rid of that road. Maybe we once the pressure comes off our road crew, we can start building in this section here. And maybe this section here. Oh see how uh, these guys got footpaths we think i'd like them to catch up with that before i commit to anything else um how are we doing here how are you guys doing you've got a single road i think what i will do, oh this is finished this is finished that's good I'm wondering if I can, is there any roads or anything I need built out here, which I can, okay, well, give these guys something to do by getting them to build that. It's a long way away, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Actually, we'll get them on that one as well, get that done. Right, we do need the groundwork started on the prison. Because we don't certainly don't want people going into and getting carried away. Um, I would, I, before I buy any more trucks, I would certainly like, if possible, to yeah, kind of earn some more money. Because we we're now at a point where the uh, actually. I think what I will do, well, let's just check the, the huts. Let's make sure everything is on 100%. Yeah. Yep, good. Yeah. How's the prison over here? Yep. Yeah. Unable to get electronics. Just get this built in here. Right, let's just get up back up to here and right on the way through we're just have another quick look at the fertility. Eighty four percent, eighty six percent, hundred and forty two percent, eighty four percent, ninety six percent uh I just can't seem to get the fertility that high in this farm. 
It's almost like if it falls too low when a certain point, it just takes a very long time to rebuild this. Okay, so we are now producing more and more power. So what I should be able to do now is come over here and we're actually suspend the import. What we'll do is we're trying to flip it the other way and export a very small amount. Come to the overlay. We're green across the board. And we're just take a quick look at. Yeah, we're not we're not maxing out just yet. We're only kind of pushing out there. Of course, what that will now have as an effect on the economy is that we're, we're now in theory what we should have now is a potential for a tiny amount of export as well so we've now turned around our power consumption and we're now making a small amount of cash from exports so you can see the change there and if we go back to imports and click on there you can see it just boom, bombs straight back down again so we so our imports now if we go back to last month is mainly around construction materials. We're, of course, we're importing oil because we've got no choice. And of course, the big one, as usual, is steel. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.